Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, in front of us is a relatively plain looking Euro cylinder. This is the six pin Smith and Lock Euro cylinder, which is sold in um, a lot of the most popular hardware stores in the UK. That does not mean that it's good, it just means that it is sold in <laughs> um, some of the most popular hardware stores in the UK. That's, a, that's about all I can say about it. The bitting on this one. Um, it's really interesting bitting this one because it's quite high um, in positions four and five, low-ish in positions one, two, and three, and then somewhere medium on pin six. It's not the best bitting, it's not the worst. It sort of gets by. Okay, so nice and smooth. Now, um, oddly enough, I don't know why, it does raise its head now and again, I suppose, is I've been getting more comments on YouTube and various other social medias about picking uh, Euros what is perceived to be the wrong way up as opposed to uh, this way, which is the way that, I'll be honest, about 90% of Euros are installed, uh, pins down, Bible down, which is odd because I'd have thought that there'd be less chance of, uh, you know, dirt, rainwater, whatever, collecting the Bible if you have it uh, this way up, but that's that's just the way they install them, um, at least in most of Europe. That being said, um, it is actually quite common, especially in commercial properties, to have at least two Euro locks, one of which would be installed this way up. Um, so yeah, um, I really won't worry about it. If you're going to pick a lock, then just pick it whichever orientation pleases you, because, you know, the best thing to do is be able to pick them both ways up, that way you've covered all bases. In fact, that's what we are going to do today. We're going to grab a vise, we're going to uh, pick this um, pins down, and then we're going to pick it uh, pins up, and well, well, we'll then gut it, I hope. All right, see you in a second. So, we are in the vise, and the lock is Bible down, which is a way it would be installed, I don't know, about 95% of the time. Um, and we're going to do bottom of the keyway tension, although it would appear to be top of the lock in this case. And we're just going to apply a little bit of light tension using tip of my finger. And have a go picking this. So already pin six is binding. Going through, pin two there, pin one. Um, back through, pin five. So make sure we're okay. Okay, good. Pin four now binding. Uh, got to make sure we haven't overset anything. Oh, and just hit pin three and we're open. Okay, not too shabby. Let's lock that back up. Let's put tension back in at the bottom of the keyway or top of the lock. Um, it should be pin side and, and not pin side, so it's not pin side. And I'm just going to try rake using this. Um, little double peak bow guitar. There we go, got it. Okay, so that's that way round. Um, again, let's flip it. Let's lock it back up. Still using my peeps and gem. Still going to do uh, bottom of the keyway, and let's go. So pin six again, I think. Yeah, five, four, three. Yeah, six, five. That's four. Oh, into a bit of a full set. One and oh, we're open. Wow, that was even quicker. Um, let's do that back up and. Let's try and rake it again. Ah, we've got it. There we go. Just uh, uh, change the direction. <laughs> And um, that's it, we, we, we picked it and raked it both ways around. Um, I mean, let's gut it, but I was just thinking, is it any more difficult? <sighs> Not really. Um, I mean, I tend to like picking these locks uh, this way up because 
I honestly just prefer it. I, I guess it's just where I like to, to pick them, but um, it does pay to sort of practice um, picking both directions, I guess, uh, because it's, it's also fun. I mean, hey, it's your lock sport hobby. You pick it however you want and don't let anybody else tell you any different because it really doesn't matter, especially when you're picking in a vice on your desk in the warm. Um, you know, let's not take it too seriously. Okay, so uh, gutting is going to have to use a front follower. Okay, right, I'm going to speed this bit up, I think. Okay, so here we are. Um, nothing massively special here. Um, we've got steel anti-drill pins in positions two, three, and six there. Um, the spool pins are nice and thin, which means that they should um, there you go, there you go. Um, should give a nice full set, which they did. Uh, the key pins are all standard, although they're not particularly. It seems well made um that we can see at the top of the pin there how it's a bit uneven all the way around i think there's another one here which looks a bit dodgy as well just the overall finish isn't great on those key pins they, they feel yeah a bit weird um i've got a spring here which um i accidentally it had a bit of an accident um but there you go it should be fine i'll just twist it around stick it back in the other way up it'll be fine um get in focus there you go so that was the six pin smith and lock it's just a very standard euro cylinder really nothing to worry anybody about and certainly not one of the best that you can buy out there even at that price point which is um yeah you know what can you say Right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, like I said, best practice picking these types of locks both ways round. Um, although, frankly, what you have to do really is just enjoy yourself, enjoy the hobby, and I'll see you all next time.